VO Radio, 24-7 internet radio for the voice of our community. Hi, I'm Bev Standing. I'm a voice actor in Canada, and I started my journey in the voiceover world back in 2008, where I took my very first course, and I haven't looked back since. But I'm going to share with you some tips from inside my booth. One of the things I've noticed when I'm doing reads is when you start, you get behind a microphone and you are, you're so stiff. You don't want to move your head. You don't want to move your arms. You're 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 just reading the words and trying to decipher what their meaning is and who you're talking to. But I find today that authentic read that people are looking for comes much more naturally if you have a physical movement. Uh, the same way as if you talk, you use your hands, you shrug your shoulders, you smile. When you're talking about something you like, you have this smile. And trust me, you can hear that, especially in IVR and on hold messaging. You don't want to say, Hello, and thank you for calling. You want to be happy that your client has called the company or the number. So it's, hello, thank you for calling. And all I did to change that was a smile on my face. So when you're talking about a product or a service or you're doing branding for a company, just having a smile on your face is incredibly beneficial to the read. And it's heard, believe it or not, that physicality is heard. Let's just use an automotive where you want to say it's only $2.99. But if you go, it's only two ninety nine. My voice went up because I shrugged my shoulders. It was like, hey, I can afford that. That's 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 I can do that. So that intent in my my tone changed with a shrug of the shoulders. And no one's watching you. So if you have to shrug fifty times in your thirty second script, do it. Whatever you do when you're pointing at things, when you're making, you know, I went to the store, I did the laundry, oh, and I had to vacuum, and uh, and then I had to go to work for 12 hours. But each time I did that, I touched my fingers, or, you know, I went, I see the moon, and I see the sun, and oh, th the water, and, and kind of point to them. What that does is it changes, believe it or not, it changes your mentality when you're looking up at the moon or down at the water. Your imagination, if you have it, you know, ticked that you're using your imagination, you're going to, in your brain, see the water or see the moon, and that will attach an emotion to it. And those things are heard. So use your hands. When you want to say the client's name, use your hands to present it. Uh, and and I know you can't see me, so what I'm doing is I put my hands out and I move them to the side, um, you know, both out forward and then to the side respectively. And what that does is it just takes a little bit longer to say what you're saying. So if I'm talking about the client's name, it just just lets me hear it as the listener. It just pauses enough that it stands out in the sentence. And that type of physicality, that shrug, the head tilt, nothing will take you off mic. It's simply attaching an emotion, uh, a light shrug, uh, a serious hand on the forehead. I'm really thinking about something. Um, another physical thing that I found very beneficial is with the authenticity. Some people, myself included, can sometimes sound very articulate when I'm doing e-learning and whatnot. And if I catch myself being a little too articulate, I simply fold one hand over um, my waist and the other one elbow resting on my hand. And then my, my free hand will go under my chin. And what that does with a little bit of pressure, it just stops me from opening my mouth quite so much. And my articulation just tones down a bit. So it just doesn't sound so pronounced, so, you know, crisp and clear. And that could be what they're looking for. They want that natural, relaxed read. And when I'm talking to a friend, I'm not talking like this where I'm saying every syllable so clearly. If I said that same thing, I'm not talking like this when I'm saying every syllable so clearly. I hope you can hear that difference. It's subtle, but it's there and it's definitely heard on the other end. So physicality, using your hands. Remember, remember, don't hit your mic. Don't hit the table. Don't clap your hands down the side when you're emphatic. Oh, I know that. That's going to get picked up by the mic. You're going to have to edit it out and it won't make any sense. So remember, physicality, whatever works for you to make you sound more natural. If you want to hire me, go to my website, bevstanding.com. If you want to talk to me about coaching, you can reach me there too. Thanks for listening. VO Radio, 24-7 internet radio for the voice of our community.